Yo, what's up? So Ableton just released Ableton Live 12. Uh, there's plenty of videos online about all the new features and stuff. So I'm just gonna explore some cool tricks. One of them is using the new Rhythm Generative tool to create kind of a JD Beck style. Obviously it's never gonna be like him, but style kind of like that. Busy, but soft and tasteful kind of vibe uh, with the new Rhythm uh, Generator tool. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have just a core progression here. with the new melt synthesizer, just a basic sound. And here I have, I'm using addictive drums for uh, acoustic drum sound. And uh, we're using the rhythm generative tool to create this type of stuff. Let's listen with the music. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, so I'm gonna just delete this clip, create a new clip. By default, we're on this Pitch and Time Utilities tab. Let's switch to the Generative Tools. And our first tool will be the Rhythm. Now, here we can select by holding Option and clicking on one of the notes. Let's just start with the Closed Hat. Or we can also choose it from the list right here. Uh, and uh, it's already on Auto Generate, so let's just move the pattern. It's already going to create something for us. Nice. So it's already too loud. Let's, I'm going to adjust the velocity range here, just for this specific uh, sound. I need to be, and this is the accented uh, uh, notes. And here we can decide how often, uh, how many notes it's going to accent. So every fourth note. I can offset that right here. And I can change it, let's do like five. Okay, nice, I can change the amount of steps that we have and that will give us more uh, patterns, more options. Right, if I go all the way down right here, there's not many options. Uh, so let's go uh, a lot and let's choose uh, some density here. We want to kind of go crazy for this JD Beck style. And we can choose between a huge amount of patterns. Nice. We can shift it also if we want. And we can add the uh, percentage of how much is going to split the notes. So let's add a few here splits here. Actually, a lot for that style. Maybe less. More density, so it's filling up more notes. Nice. And I'm also going to add right here just deviation a tiny bit of velocity for more variation. Okay, nice. I'm going to click on the background, so we're locking this in, and let's option click the kick, and let's do that as well. Uh, now, for the kick, much less uh, density. We don't need too much, and less uh, split. Maybe... Yeah. We don't need a split. We're going to turn off the split. Okay, awesome. Um, click in the background, commit that. Let's click on the snare option click, the snare here. And the snare, let's go. Let's do a higher density here. M bunch of splits, not too much. And uh, let's do more density. Okay, we're gonna need a lower velocity here. More density. Nice. And the accent and snare, let's uh, bring it up in velocity. Nice. And we can play with this forever. Let's do one more. Let's do the open hat. Option click. And let's do less density. No split. So some of them we can't hear because they're playing the same time with the closed hats. Nice, with our music. Okay, nice, that's awesome. Uh, here's another tip, just uh, let's use another tool. We're gonna go to transformation tools now. And there's one called time warp. I'm gonna highlight just this last section and let's slow it down. I'm gonna drag this, and you can see the notes are slowing down. Uh, let's try that. It's gonna sound a bit uh, weird, kind of slowing down, but might be cool. Mm. 
אוקיי. Now I can duplicate it, continue, edit, do variation, it's endless, this transformational generative tools, new um, tools in Ableton Live 12s are crazy. This is obviously not JD Beck, but uh, we can kind of get that vibe, right? So super awesome stuff with the rhythm generation tool and uh, uh, the time warp uh, transformation tool. Check it out. will probably bring a lot more kind of cool tips and tricks in the near future so uh, please subscribe and we'll catch you next time